Okay guys, we've got a bunch of products here at First Man. We've got our men's lifestyle supplement, which is everything that a man needs on a daily basis. We've got our natural diuretic supplement, Defined, which allows you to get an angular face, removes all the water, especially good for summer. We've got our Male Advantage book, which is a paperback. You can order this, or you can get this in audiobook format or ebook format. We've got our Better Looking Man course, which I'll bring up pictures on screen now. And we've got my personal diet plan and fitness plan in ebook format. On top of this, guys, we've got a body wash coming out soon, part of the testosterone friendly range. We've got men's boxers and a whole clothing line coming out soon. A whole bunch of products, but for now, let's get back to the video that you actually wanted to watch. Okay guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanna do a testosterone increasing tier list. There's a lot of conflicting information out there. A lot of people saying, oh, there's this one thing that you can do that will increase your testosterone. A lot of it is just complete bullshit, as you guys know. So I'm just going to give you a list of what I think is like the main things that you can do. And uh, I'm reading off my phone, but what I will do in post-edit is create an actual chart that looks pretty decent. I might pay somebody to make something really nice, like an infographic, so you guys can actually keep it, share it around, whatever. This is what I think is like... Like if I had thought for longer, I might have come up with some more things, but this is what I think the basics are, okay, on different levels. Now, I think the important thing to do is start with tier one. Now, tier one is the basics of life. And this is what people often get wrong. They're like, but what about this one thing? Like, for example, I'm creating a men's body wash, testosterone friendly. Using that body wash every day will have an effect on your testosterone levels. Will it be the main thing? No, and this is the problem. It's people are like, it's that one testosterone, it's that one toothpaste that contains fluoride. Look, the main thing, you can do all the worst things to your testosterone levels and your testosterone levels will still be high if you do everything that's in tier one because these are the basic like foundational qualities of testosterone that is required to keep it high, okay? So this is like your 80-20 rule. If you do these, this is like the 80%. So the first thing that you can do, guys, is drink enough water. Now, this is, it's a standard requirement for your body. If you're not drinking enough water, then what are you doing? Like, it's so obvious. Um, if you're dehydrated, how can you expect your body to operate at a normal level? Most people are chronically dehydrated every single day. I used to be, the way I got around it was I took, I went and bought two one liter bottles of water and I would take them to the gym in the morning. I drink them both while I'm training between sets and then I fill them up at the end, take them home and drink them again. It's the easiest way. Um, there's better ways to improve the water that you're drinking that will have an effect on your testosterone, but as a basic requirement, you have to drink enough, guys. If you're going to the gym and you're a man, it's very likely four liters of water per day. Number two is sleep. If you're not getting at least seven hours per night, ideally eight, testosterone is just not going to be at an optimal level. It's just, you know, people talk about, oh, you have to do this one thing. It's like, just get to bed. Just try and sleep and try and sleep between the same times too. The next one is lifting weights, especially compound lifts, heavy weights, etc. We all know this. Like if you're not, if, if you've got low testosterone or low energy, for example, and you're not lifting heavy weights, you're fucking yourself up. Like if you if you're a low energy guy with low motivation and you're feeling like shit, and you go to the gym and you start lifting heavy weights, it's gonna it's gonna change your life. Especially if you've never deadlifted, squatted, etc., and you start doing those things. You're just going to have more, like maybe not the first couple of weeks, but after that, you're going to have more energy. You're going to feel better. Testosterone is going to be up, stronger erections, etc. You're just going to feel better about yourself. Um, shout out to more plates, more dates as well, watching and reviewing this video. There's a high chance. When you talk about testosterone, there's a high chance that man just pops up. Next one is a clean diet. Like that, Again, th these are so obvious. These tier ones are so obvious. If you haven't got a clean diet, you're having like simple carbs, you're having fast food every single night, you know, etc. You guys, you're going to be fucked. You're going to be absolutely fucked. And that, that involves your sugars. That involves, you know, something that's on this list later, which I'll get to, but that involves your sugars and stuff like that. So just be careful, guys. Like, it's so easy to just have a clean diet, you know. The next one is optimal healthy fats. A lot of people avoid this. They're trying to get in shape and they're like, I don't want to eat too much fat. Like, if you're slamming in avocados, peanut butter, normal normal nuts, you're probably going to feel significantly better, okay? Anytime I've eaten high fats, I feel strong. It's optimal for creating more, uh, for producing more testosterone. So low stress is a big one. I know that from entrepreneurship. 
Can't always control it, but you should try and stay on top of it as much as you can, guys, because if you've got, you know, if you're stressed out of your mind, your body's just not operating at the same level, you're going to produce high cortisol, and cortisol produces estrogen, so, you know, you're going to feel like shit, guys. Um, the next one is an active lifestyle. Like I said, I'm brushing through these tier ones because they're so obvious, but people always forget them. They're like the 80-20 rule. This is 80% of, of everything. This, for me, this is what works best. Active lifestyle, so if you're not sat at a screen all day, you're playing on like, let's say you go to work, you sit a screen for like eight hours, you come home, you sit in front of the TV, then you sit in front of a games console. Naturally, you're gonna have lower testosterone because your body's just like, well, fuck me, is this all we do all day? We just sit down, like, what's the point? The next one is keeping low body fat. Once, like optimal is in between eight and 16% body fat. Once you get above 16, you start producing more estrogen, it just f fucks your body up. So those are the basics, guys. Drink more water, sleep at least seven, eight hours per night. Lifting weights, especially compound lifts, you know, heavy weights especially. Uh, sorry, I missed one actually, sunlight. You've got, to get, you've got to get outside and get daylight, number one. But you could, if you can get sunlight, you know, little things like sun in your balls can be later on down like the list in the different tiers. But like getting outside and just getting sunlight on the skin and daylight and whatever. We're an indoor generation of people who just want to sit there and watch TV all day. Like it really does fuck you up. So that was one that I missed. The next one was clean diet, optimal healthy fats, low stress, active lifestyle, low body fat. If you do those, those basic requirements of tier one, you're going to feel fucking fantastic. Like just those alone. Like there's going to be other things on this list that can, you know, give you a small boost, medium boost or whatever. But those things there, like as long as you tick those basics, you're pretty much going to be okay. Now, tier two. First one is masturbation and porn. Now, this gets discussed a lot and people say, oh, it doesn't change your testosterone, etc. It, it actually doesn't. Okay, it actually doesn't. But what it does do is the science on this is that it changes, and I'm not going to nail the science here, but I've spoken to people about this. And what it does is it actually changes the receptors in your brain. So you might have as much testosterone as you require, but the receptors don't pick up on it. That's literally how it works. So you've got all the testosterone that you need, but your receptors in your brain aren't picking up on it. So it's not necessarily you'll go to the gym and you'll feel weaker and worse and whatever. It's here. It's here where you'll be like, I'm tired. I can't be bothered. I don't want to like, it's not. You know, when you get that moment where you're like, I want to lift and you just get really fucking excited or I want to fuck. Do you know what I mean? That just kind of evades you. It's, it starts here, and that's where that comes from. So quitting porn and masturbation will really help. The next one in tier two is fluoride. Fluoride is in stuff like toothpaste. You get it in water sources. Um, that will destroy your testosterone. Not Obviously not as much as like the tier one things, but it will have you know a significant effect where you need to take care of it. The next one is getting like a reverse osmosis water machine. So drinking four liters per day is the main thing that you can do with water. If you can drink four liters per day of reverse osmosis, fluoride-free water, it's going to be a game changer, guys. You're going to get that extra little testosterone boost. The next one is cleaning products. So when you use stuff around the house to clean whatever, wear gloves, you know, or use natural products as much as you can, like those eco-friendly products, I've got a bunch of them. Um, but you've got to watch out because they're all full of chemicals. They're going to seep into the skin. It's just, it's just, it's just a basic thing that we do so often that it's going to have an impact on your life. The next one is low alcohol. That goes without saying, guys. You know, if you're going out and getting drunk all the time, your quality of sleep is going to be worse, and alcohol just fucks up the body. You're going to produce more estrogen, more fat, etc. Like that's not, that's not ideal. The next one is hygiene and grooming products. The same as cleaning products, you know, so when back in the day when people used to use like hairspray and hair gels and, you know, certain like deodorants, for example, just spraying it onto your skin, like all of this stuff has an impact. OK, they've all got chemicals within them that are endocrine disrupting chemicals. So you have to watch out for all of those. Hence my body wash, which is testosterone friendly in a glass bottle, which is coming very, very soon. The next one is your environment. So the environment that you're in the world around you, as it gets softer and softer, there's no need to have high testosterone levels. Now, people go to prison, there's some studies, I don't know how true they are, but there's some studies that people's testosterone levels go up when they're in prison. If you're surrounded by like groups of strong men every single day, you're going to the gym with a, with a friend, you're probably going to get some level of testosterone increase, okay guys? It's, you know, the environment around you, like for, here's a great example, there's proven studies on this, men will have a child, and their testosterone levels will drop because they have to be a little softer to raise that child. So it's just the environment around you makes a, a real difference. You've got to be careful of like how you set yourself up.
The next one is natural boosters, stuff like Fedosia Agrestis, Ashwagandha KSM 66, um, Tonka Ali, vitamin D, stuff like that. Like that will have an effect in tier two. So actually those four ingredients are in my new testos natural testosterone boosting supplement that's coming out very soon. They're, they're four of the only ingredients that have ever had proven studies. So that's why I've gone for them. I've gone for the best quality ingredients in each as well. Like instead of ashwagandha, ashwagandha KSM, KSM 66, the root extract. The next one is a shower head filter. You get these shower head filters with beads in, etc. And uh, they, talk, they talk about, oh, it ionizes the water. You basically just get rid of all, uh, not all of it, but you get rid of the majority of the crap. Have you ever been to like, people who have been to like Spain and stuff or like certain countries, especially years and years ago, you take a shower and you'd be like, the water's silky. That was really weird. Whereas in the UK and US and whatever, the water's very harsh. That was why, because the water isn't full of chemicals and full of crap. And when you get one of these water filters, you go, oh, wow, like these shower head water filters, you're like, wow, the water's silky again. It makes it like it was in Spain when I was growing up as a kid. So you just, you don't itch as much. You get in the shower and you're not scratching and itching. You don't feel, you know, your skin doesn't like start blemishing up and red patches. Uh, the next one is, it's related to sleep. And like I said earlier, just your circadian rhythm, just being in a pattern, just going to bed at like, Let's say you go to bed at 10 p.m., you wake up at 6 a.m. Every day you get in this pattern. Your body will respond to that and your testosterone will increase. If you're just randomizing your sleep, it, you know, it's, it's proven that it can work, that you can do random sleep. I can't remember what that's called, um, but it's not the optimal method, okay? Now, the next one is being around women and having sex. That speaks for itself. Your testosterone is obviously going to increase. If you can do that, great. Next one is being around competitive men. If you're around competitive men in the gym, sporting sense, whatever, testosterone is going to increase, okay? It's just, it's that prison mentality. You've got competitive men around you. You're all going against each other. Naturally, testosterone is going to go up. It's just testosterone and competitiveness are just tied together. Now, tier three are just some smaller things that will have an impact on your body, but... You know, they're very small. Like people say, for example, receipts will be destroying your testosterone level. Such a small level, because a lot of them have got BPA on. It will be at such a small level that it's not worth worrying about. But if you worry about all of these on that small level, you're going to have some level of, you know, change. It might be a 2% increase. I'm, I'm quite keen to get that 2% increase. But, you know, I'm in this industry where it matters to me. So... You know, touching receipts, handling receipts is never that good. It's like almost like a powder chemical on the receipts. That's why drinking out of plastic bottles or using, for example, a body wash in a plastic bottle, it leaks into the ingredients, leaks into the, into the liquid. Um, so you should avoid that. Ideally, go for glass bottles. Multivitamins, they're going to have some level of an effect. TV and screen usage, the reason it's in tier three is because directly it's not that bad. It's just the fact that you're sitting down a lot when you're using these things. So that's why it's in tier three. And the last one in tier three is chlorine. When people go swimming in pools and whatnot, that has an effect on testosterone levels, not like tier one and tier two, but it does have an effect on testosterone levels. Okay, guys? So that's everything that I could think of. There's obviously other things out there, like sun in your balls, for example, could probably go into, based on the evidence, probably like tier two. I'd probably slam that in there near the bottom of tier two, maybe bridging into tier three. But like, if you can just nail tier one, you know, and then just adapt your lifestyle in the best way without, you know, you don't have to go and buy a reverse osmosis machine because it's expensive. But all the other things on that list that are affordable that you can change without having to do too much, you know? Um, if you deploy those, I guarantee you will see testosterone increases. You will start feeling better. But it's that tier one that you really need to focus on. Hone your lifestyle in. Why are you going to bed at three in the morning after having a pizza? Like, just get to fucking bed, man. What's the matter with you? You know, get outside at least for two, three hours per day. Go and get some sunlight. What you, especially in winter, at least get out at lunchtime and go for an hour walk. I used to do that every day when I worked in a nine to five job. Get up early in the morning and get that sunlight on your face in the morning first thing for like 30 minutes. Then get on with your day. Lift heavy weights, eat clean, drink water. Like, it's... There's such basic requirements that it's like you should just be doing them anyway. That's tier one. The tier two, tier three stuff, that's up to you. I've got very specific with it. I really care about this stuff. I feel like it has a massive impact on my life. So you can do that stuff, guys. But it's the 80-20 rule. Like that tier one is 80%. That's going to make the majority of difference. Everything else underneath that. I mean, it's up to you, really. It's like how far do you want to take it? But that is my kind of list 
of things that you can do to increase your testosterone levels.